Chain stitch is a great way to stitch a line of embroidery that has a lot of texture. Today, I'm going to show you how to stitch chain stitch two different ways, plus its close cousin, the Lazy Daisy, and I'm going to give you ideas for how to use these in your next embroidery project. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So chain stitch gets its name because it has little loops or units that go together to make a long line. It looks similar to a chain. Its close cousin, the Lazy Daisy Stitch, is actually just single units or links of a chain that are used by itself. These are often used in a little loop to make little flowers and that's where the name Lazy Daisy comes from. So chain stitch is a great stitch if you want to embroider a word or your name onto something like on a piece of clothing or a bag or something else, fabric that you want to put a word on. Chain stitch is great for that because it's easy to do and it makes quite a chunky line that is easy to see. But chain stitch isn't limited to wording. It can also be used for outlines, for fillers, and it has a lot of organic applications. It can be used for vines and branches and flowers and even things like worms or snakes or those kind of things. Once you get started playing with it, you'll find a lot of applications for chain stitch. So let's get started stitching. Bring the thread up to the front of the fabric and then put the needle back in the same hole or at least close to it and take a small stitch, wrapping the thread underneath the needle before you pull the stitch through. When you pull the thread through, you'll see that it loops around itself to make a little chain. Put the needle down on the other side of the loop and now you have a single chain or a lazy daisy stitch. These can be made many different sizes and thicknesses. If you pull them tight, they will be more long and narrow. And if you leave loose tension, then the result will be a more round stitch. So play with different options and find out what you like for the application that you're doing. To make a chain of stitches, you begin in the same way by putting the needle in and bringing it up, wrapping the thread underneath the needle, but then when you go back in to the same stitch again, you will repeat the process. So each link of the chain is stitched from inside the previous link. If you find it too difficult to stitch this with a single stitch, you can do this also with the stab method. Take the needle to the back, but hold the end of the thread so that it doesn't follow, and then bring the thread up to the front within that thread. When you get to the end of the chain, then take that small tacking stitch just past the edge of the last chain to hold them all secure. There it is. If you want to try something different, chain stitch can also be worked backwards. Begin with taking a small tacking stitch, then bring the needle up away from there, slide the thread underneath the tacking stitch, and then bring it back down in the same spot. Here we have another chain. So continue this way, bringing the needle up and then sliding the thread underneath the previous chain. 
and then taking the thread back down in the same spot. When the stitching is finished, it will look just the same as the chain done in the traditional method, and you won't be able to tell which technique was used to stitch it. Some people find one or the other of these techniques easier to keep the tension consistent on the loops of the chain. When you get to the end of the row, you just take the thread to the back of the fabric and finish it off. So there it is. Chain stitch looks great whichever method you use. And Lazy Daisy also has a lot of applications beyond just flowers. For more embroidery tutorials and inspiration, be sure to check out ebitastudio.com.